Unajua kuna watu ambao huwa wanafikiria siasa ni rahisi. Eti ni kitu cha kuingia tu unafanya unafanya na nini. Huwa inahitaji vitu vingi sana. Vitu vingi sana. It's all, all about money. Lazima ujipange unaenda una una una, 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 una kuambia watu nini nini watu hawapendi nini watu wanataka nini hawataki kusikia nini wanataka kusikia yani unatembea na kina nani ni kina nani ufai kutembea nao yani siasa iko hivyo ina mambo mengi sana mtazamaji wangu kama mnakumbuka vizuri wiki jana uh, Ruto alikuwa Mombasa not, 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 not even Mombasa alikuwa wacha niseme alikuwa coast yeah. baada ya um, event tunasema mashujaa day right uh-huh. So what happened ni kwamba alikuwa na vitu vingi sana ambavyo alitakiwa kufanya but uh, hakuvifa hakuvifanya so ikawa ame cancel almost hivyo vitu vyote ambavyo ali, alitakiwa kufanya akarudi uh, Nairobi chap chap but again uh, president william ruto cut short his course uh, region development tour returning to nairobi after mashujaa day celebrations in kwale stadium uh, despite a packed schedule including launching affordable housing Uh, hiyo ilikuwa ni ya Mombasa he cancel all plan events uh, which were to last one week yani alitakiwa kukaa pale one week lakini hakufanya hivyo akarudi uh, in contrast to previous visits Ruto had no public engagements with the um, limited access and uh, tight security his motorcade avoided uh, Changamwe where he usually addressed crowds the president delivered a 43 address in Kwale a 43 minutes address in Kwale sticking to a written speech except for brief remarks in Kiswahili on his plans for the landless now the mashujaa day program seemed rushed with Ruto arri- arriving 25 minutes earlier than scheduled uh, soldiers hurriedly prepared the parade as he arrived from the Kwale state lodge and like his past interactions so Ruto did not freely engage with the public haku you know ingia mitani kuzungumza na watu namna ambavyo amekuwa akifanya notably absent to political allies like akina Muhammad Ali and his usual welcoming team at Moi International Airport meanwhile impeach uh, deputy president Rudy Gashogo claimed he was blocked from flying to Kwale by orders to ex- uh, restricting helicopters access so the standard ndo ikai in a report kwamba president William Ruto cut short his tour of uh, development projects at the coast region and flew back to Nairobi after the Mashujaa Day celebration uh, in Kwale Stadium and uh, we can go live zuri at the event interior cs uh, kithura kindiki sat bis- uh, beside the president occupying the seat typically yes typically uh, served or reserved for the deputy president raising further speculation about the changes in uh, pro- uh, protocol and uh, program and of course i think the uh, keshake ndo it could keshake out the same same day i think the regard the keshake was zungumza i think the same same day joni and or get the shagwa alikuwa anazungumza ikawa anasema kwamba hao watu bana wali block asiende na hata yeye si <laughs> anyway aya sawa um so nilizungumzia nili kuna siku tulikuwa tunapiga hapa story ikawa na, nawaambia for now Ruto hawezi akaongea uh, si kuhusu impeachment si kuhusu nini kwa sababu there is hata yeye si kwamba kwa si kwamba yeye hana stress No, hata yeye kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vina vinamkula akili. Na miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo vinamkula akili ni Rigathi Gashagwa. So mpaka Rigathi Gashagwa bado unaona kabisa hizi kesi zinaendelea. Jua hata yeye pia I mean William Samuto anashughulika moja mbili tatu. Siku ambayo itaisha hii kesi. Naibu wa rais apatikane na vitu viende. I think ndo sasa ataanza kurudi mitani. But in the meantime hii hapa ndo bado inamsumbua. So siku ambayo ataimaliza nadhani ndo Uh, siku ambayo ataingia mitani na kuzungumza na watu. But again, ni kitu kipi kinafanya apart from uh, swala la regedi ya shago, ni kitu kipi ambacho kinafanya labda asiingie mitani. Unajua sasa hivi kuna tension nyingi. Kuna tension nyingi. Story hii ya regedi ya shago um, mambo yake ni magumu kidogo. You know, kuna watu hawajapenda, kuna watu wamependa, kuna watu they don't care. Okay, chochote ambacho kitafanyika wacha kifanyike kulingana na wao. So unakuta ujui moods za watu azikoje and lazima ujipange upya. Ya yeah, kabisa kabisa lazima ujipange upya. Ujue nikirudi pale naongea nini. Unajua wanasiasa wanajua vizuri sana. Na kwa siasa iko hivyo. Kabla hujaenda sehemu na kwa ushajipanga. 
unaenda na kina nani unaenda kuongea mambo gani vitu gani hufai kuongea na nini unaona kama sasa hivi watu wanataka akiingia mitaani azungumzie swala la vigezi keshago na labda hata kitu kikindiki watu wanatamani kujua like kwa nini unamtoa You know tumesikiliza upande wa Rigathi Gashagwa tujasikiliza upande wa Ruto. But again tumekuwa tukisikiliza upande wa Ruto kupitia hawa watu wake. But I think yeye ndio the best person ambaye anaweza akatuambia what happened between yeye na Rigathi Gashagwa, Rigathi Gashagwa. So number one, iishi kesi ya Rigathi Gashagwa. Then number two, apatikane naibu wa rais. Then number three, ajue anarudi vipi. Unajua sasa hivi ni comeback. Yeah, kitu ambacho kinafuata ni comeback ya William Samoe Ruto. So is either akaribishwe ama ndo afukuzwe. Na unajua ndo ukaribishwe lazima hiyo comeback yako iwe strong. Lazima urudi vizuri. Sio kurudi tu kwamba watu wamerudi mitaani, watu wanaongea na wananchi hapana. Yaani kurudi kwako lazima wewe umejipanga vizuri. Especially Mount Kenya. Huko William kurudi sio kitu cha kuamka tu asubuhi unakaa juu ya gari unaanza kuongea, unaanza kutupa mauongo. In fact kule lazima wa convince, lazima waambie the reason why huyu Rigathi Gashagwa yuko nyumbani. One of the things ambazo ana kwanza tu eri hizi tu zingine hizi za Kisumu hizo watakaribishwa migori au mabei wapi nyanza cause tu kwa watakaribishwa hata siji kwa nini aliogopa kuzungumza huko you know huko there is no problem mlima kurudi mlima lazima ajipange upya lazima ajue ni nini cha kuzungumza ni nini la sivyo itakuwa ni noma sana mtazamaji wangu so uh, ukiona bado hajatembea ujue kuna moja mbili tatu anaweka uh, vizuri akisha wapea hiyo kiti uh, ya unaibu wa rais najua atakuwa anarejea kusema kwamba oh ilikuwa ilikuwa and bado stories hapa bado zitakuwa nyingi sana stories okay uh, by the way anaweza kachagua kuongelelea au anaweza anaweza kanyamaza tu eh yeah. at the end of the day yes ndo kuamua mm uh, comments ndo zimi fresh up mgira anasema he will ultimately pay the price for fighting a man who made him president unfortunately Our politicians have brains of a fish too forgetful it's going to be shameful for Ruto as a one term president of course uh, huyu hapa eh, eh anazungumzia uh, story ya um, eh, Ruto kumpiga Rigathi Gashagwa na kumundoa kwenye hiyo nafasi ya unaibu wa rais okay um, mgena sema no problem president William Ruto will overcome this kiambu mafia kiambu mafia ni nani sasa Mgena anasema we don't need a miracle or a revelation from a prophet to know what God has rejected Ruto <laughs> to know that uh, God has rejected Ruto okay eh, Mgena anasema why is the president sticking, sticking on the affordable housing which Kenya has rejected there must be a hidden plan behind the same thing tio tumezungumzia kwa muda mrefu sana sio ndege yanguke malize zakayo Kenya iwe na amani eh okay i thought this man said he was sick and hospitalized and kind what did he want to do in Mombasa ah o oh, story ya Rigathi Gashagwa oh, watu wanashindwa kuelewa alisema yeye ni mgonjwa sasa alitaka kufanya nini okay sawa he had an urgent meeting in Nairobi with Pan African Assembly president to discuss AU reforms oh okay sawa but uenda labda ali, ali, alipata emergency fulani uh, ikabidi arudi kwa sababu amekuwa na mikutano huko uh, state house na vitu kama hivyo so tunasubiri tu um, kuona ni kitu kipi ambacho kitaendelea and unajua kitu ambacho watu wanajiuliza This time round Ruto Ruto anarudi vipi? Ruto anarudi vipi kwa wananchi? Especially wa mlima Kenya. Hata wa convince vipi? Do kitu kingine ambao I'm very sure ni kwamba kuna sehemu atamkataa. Kama Nyeri unless otherwise. But Nyeri ni kwa Rigathi Gashagwa. Unless otherwise. But kule sidhani kama atapata hiyo support kubwa. Eh ambao amekuwa akipata. So wacha tusubiri tuone and uh, naamini kila kitu kitakaa vizuri tazama wanzumisho lakini ukimaliza subscribe ili uendelee kupata taifa nyingi na mpe kila wakati hawa walikataa kabisa hiyo story ya Rigathi Gashagwa kuangaishwa and atapitia muda mgumu so wacha tuone bye bye kidiki ana nafasi mwafaka ya kuunganisha watu wote wa mlima Kenya si kuunganisha ili kupigana na wale watu wengine kuunganisha ili tuwe na ushirika hapa wenyewe kwa wenyewe na kuunganisha watu wa mlima Kenya na wakenya wengine chini ya uongozi wa William Ruto. Na mimi niliambia watu mimi nilikuwa kwa baba naye baba akahama na akahama na nyumba yake akaenda kwa serikali kuda serikali ya upana hii broad based government. Kwa hivyo mimi nilikuwa kwa hiyo serikali. Na mimi kwanza nilikuwa nimepata shida kidogo. 
watu wako huko ndani tunajaribu kuingia tunaambiwa sisi sio shareholders tuziingie kwa hiyo serikali mimi wakati wa mwisho niliingia Kalen makao makuu ya naibu wa rais ni wakati William Ruto alikuwa naibu wa rais huo wakati mwingine si tunafungiwa ati sisi sio wanahisa mimi naotaka na muomba naibu wa rais professor Kidiki afungue milango ya ofisi ya naibu wa rais iwe ni ofisi ya wakenya isiyo ni ofisi ya watu wa Mount Kenya isiyo ni ofisi ya watu ambao walipika kula kutoka upande ule isiwe ni ofisi ya wachache na tunataka hiyo hadithi ya wanahisa iishe katika taifa la Kenya ili tuanze kuonekana sisi wakaaji wa Mount Kenya kama wa Kenya wengine na mimi na muomba haraka sana akiingia kwa ofisi hata kama cheo sio cha Mount Kenya mimi najua hapa katika Mount Kenya hiyo miaka mbili tumepoteza miaka mbili mfutano ya ni nani mkubwa ni nani mwenye hisa sijui ni nani 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 ametoka nyeri nani ametoka mulanga na muuliza hiyo ukulasa iwekwe katika kabuli la sahau kwenye kubu kubu na hiyo ni historia ya miaka miwili ambao Mount Kenya imepitia ambao tungetaka kusahau na kusahau kabisa na pia ningewaomba wakaji wote wa Mount Kenya mambo ya gashagwa iishie hapo tusianze kufuata hii hiyo story kuendelezwa a a msimamo umetoka kutoka kwa bunge na naibu wa rais mpya amekalia kiti kwa hivyo tusianze kusukuma vita zaidi kwa gashagwa tena sasa tufungue ukurasa mpya kama watu wa Mount Kenya na pia nimuuliza gashagwa afanye na sisi afanye na kidiki na sisi tufanye na kidiki na mimi nimetangaza kwa mara ya pili sasa sasa mimi nataka kuwa katikati ya hii serikali kwa sababu milango imefunguliwa milango ilikuwa imefungwa ili tuweze kukaa sasa na naibu wa rais tuongee ile mambo ambayo tulikuwa tumechelewa eh? kufikisha katika Mount Kenya mambo ya mazua mambo ya kahawa eh? na mambo ya ukulima na mambo ya wafanyabiashara wadogo kwa hivyo mimi yangu leo ilikuwa ni kutoa shukran kwa bunge na kumwalika bwana Kindiki katika Mount Kenya akuje tufanye kazi na ye, na pia ni mwalike ligadha ya shagwa pia eh? asikuwe na kinyongo hiyo mambo imepita hiyo eh? ni historia ashikane sasa tushikane zote gachagua kindiki wailia na wengine wote ili tuweze kuimarisha eh, maendeleo katika Mount Kenya na maendeleo katika Kenya mzima mimi hiyo ndio maoni yangu na kuna wachache nilikuwa na, nasikia wakisema ati hii mambo chagua itaumiza serikali mimi nimekuwa rafiki ya Ruto Kitambo